Sagittarius, welcome to your Astro Flower reading going from the 19th through to Christmas Day. Uh, well, this is the Astro Flower. This is the table that is in front of me. Um, there is an energy line that runs straight through this studio, runs straight through this table. So let's just connect to that energy and open up the portal to the Astro Flower and allow the Sagittarian Astro Flower to come to the surface. And there we go. Welcome to the Astro Flower. I hope you do like the work that we're doing here to try and give this uh, reading a lot more depth and uh, depth and um, incitement, basically. It's going to be changing gradually over the next year, uh, these readings, as we develop it even further with the, um, the science of the Astro Flower. Uh, so you're going to want to stick with this channel. We've got some amazing readings coming up in the future. Let's just jump straight in here and see what's going in on with your overall energy for this week. It's like everybody. We're leading up to Christmas, so there's a lot of family uh, situations here. There's a lot of meeting up with old friends and stuff like that. And Sag, you just want to have a good one. You want it to be enjoyable. You want it to be family orientated, uh, almost like a real thick traditional Christmas, basically, uh, by the looks of things. Yeah, an Ace of Pentacles. It's uh, the that that starting of you. It's it's the starting of a new journey, as it were. But um, it's based upon materials, so it's based upon meeting other people, being with other people. Uh, socializing a little bit but there is certain victories here there's also um like seeds of of ideas and possibilities for the going future i've not I haven't actually said happy birthday to any any sagittarians who got their birthday this week do apologize happy birthday to you um so you come through your Chris, you come through your birthday period and this is where you're really going to be setting off now the energy will start flowing back through you, especially if your birthday has been in the beginning of the Sagittarian season. So you're going to want to start to um, build on those plans that you've gradually been arranging and sorting out during September and October, November time um, periods um, just till now uh, or just to when your birthday is. And that's when you should be heading off. And that's what the overall energy is saying here. There is a bit of a case of yeah, it's it's time to move on. It's time to put to, into action uh, the plans, as it were. Let's just see what's going on in your relationship front. This is the karmic message here. No boat needs to be rocked here. I think this week here, it's... Uh, uh, I think you know, it's a case of just um, letting things roll. Last week, it was really busy for you. Um, you might have found yourself doing a lot of networking, going ahead and doing things and stuff like that. I think that's still there. And I don't think you're going to give over your time to people that, doesn't, that don't really um, have time for you. So, um, but I do believe there's a case of festive season about you all and about sort of like um you know being with other people is that there is a childish aspect of it and this is that traditional christmas that i was talking about you know you really want to have fun you want to play games you want to uh have fun with the family your friends people you haven't seen for a long time taking time out and stuff like that that's what seems to be on the menu here and um letting go of the emotions basically let's just see how the Divine plan is trying to influence your karmic missing, your karmic message. Sorry, it's sitting in a chair in a really nice, comfortable chair. It's sort of saying, Take some good quality time with friends and family. <laughs> page of cups page of swords ace of pentacles there's a lot of young young vibrant energy here yeah they you know they they're asking you to sort of enjoy the idea of um you know daydreaming and uh 
and uh, you know allowing to to see your aspirations that you hold in your hand uh for everything that is around you and you know really bathe in that i think i think there's a lot of um there's a lot of vibration to be had here and a lot of emotions to be uh explored um through the through fun and uh games and uh and socializing basically let's see how the guys are trying to influence this karmic message They're building bridges here, so you may well be connecting with people. Obviously, it's Christmas, and this comes up quite a lot. It's come up for most people. Um, you know, we've had the, um, what is it, the Six of Cups uh, come up for a lot of people. Uh, and I think here is as well that, you know, your guides are trying to build bridges with a lot of people um, around you. It's so strength. It's got an idea of having that strength within you. Uh, to build bridges, to connect with people that you may not have seen for a long time. Um, and sometimes that requires a bit of work and it requires a bit of strength, as it were. Uh, it may even require... It's the funny thing about this thing here. There was this idea of emotions coming through from this side here and it's like exploring and opening your, 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 your um, connection to the emotions to the other people around you. And it might be confronting a situation. This is where the building of bridges comes into play. It might be a case of confronting situations that you haven't really had to confront for a long time because you haven't seen those people. And uh, this time here, it's you know, it's being strong. I think uh, being and strong doesn't necessarily mean overpowering someone else. Strong can also mean um, you know, accepting uh, you know, bygones be bygones in a way. You know, that sort of scenario. That's what it feels like there with the uh, guides. Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence the um, the conversation that is within you. They're very jokingly. I think they're taking the inspiration from the two pages at the base there. Uh, it's uh, all about fun, all about uh, saying what you want to say just because it's Christmas. And, you know, it's for a laugh, it's for a joke, that sort of thing, uh, scenario. Yeah, okay, so you've got the Nine of Swords. I think it's, uh, I think this is, a lot of people have had this actually, uh, Nine of Swords or Ten of Swords in these positions here. And I think this is where the guides are just trying to remind you that it doesn't have to be complicated, it doesn't have to be stressful. You don't have to lose sleepless nights about it. Um, and I think this is where the guides are trying to help you to see the funny side of things. The joyous side, sort of like allowing you to relax rather than stress up about the relationships that are around you. Let's just see what's going on on the um, on your financial sort of side of life. This is your karmic message for the finances. Having that that find balance between work and play is a very good thing and i think it's something you need to realize um you have a lot of aspirations and desires going uh in this world at the moment you're really on fire leading up over the last month in fact i think the beginning part of this year there was a blip in the end part of summer but apart from that you've really been on fire uh, sagittarius and this is uh, here is don't forget on your karmic path don't forget those desires and uh, those ultimate goals that you should be looking into let's just see how um the universe the divine plan is trying to influence this because there is this no rest aspect to you this, this idea that you've got to be constantly doing something or, um, you know, uh, working to a plan or working to uh, a path, as it were. And the universe here is really trying to sort of say to you, don't give up, don't give up, just keep moving, just keep going. Um, the world around you may not... There is, a, there is this... It's this work and play ethic that comes back and that could sort of play into that. 
Don't forget the reason why you're working. You know, it should be so you can actually enjoy life as well uh, with other people that are around you. Um, it's also a little bit of a revelation of things as well. And I think this is where the um, uh, the universe is sort of saying, keep going forward, keep going forward. Uh, and as you do, concentrate on the things that are working. And I think this might have come out of your in your yearly reading as well, actually. Because uh, we did a collective and we've done the individual yearly readings, which you can find on our channel. It will be linked at the end of this um, the end of this reading. Um, but it is a case of concentrating on the things that really work for you. Let's just see um, how the um, uh, let's see how the um, how the guides are trying to influence this karmic message. They're being very selective about the coincidences that they 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 allow you to experience at the moment to stop you from wandering off on on paths that could you could be lost in uh, and lost the idea of of your ambitions or uh, the goals that you've got in life. Um, seven of cups. So it's all about the evident path. This is where they're cutting off a lot of the coincidences because they're trying to keep you on the evident path. This is what ties into with the universe. They're working in cahoots together, as it were. Um, and, uh, you know, your guides are sort of trying to keep you on the evident path, keep you going forward of what you should be doing in the way of work uh, and your career path. Let's just see what's going on, how the guides are trying to influence the conversation that is within you. Sharpest tool in the shed you are, or sharpest knife in the drawer. You're really on fire still, uh, Sagittarius. It's a shame Christmas turned up in a way. Um, it's, yeah, it's uh, like there's, um, it's, it's a desire to seize opportunities, is really wants to get on. And I think that ties into the overall energy as well uh, of there. You got the Six of Cups? Everybody's been getting it. I knew about it. Um, so it's it's taking time out to sort of um, connect with the past, basically, uh, which is Christmas period and connecting with all the people that are around you. <coughs> it also could be a way of sort of through this year, you've made a lot of, um, done a lot of networking, made a lot of connections, and it may be a case that you need to sort of like reconnect with those people over the year just to wish them Merry Christmas just to sort of make sure you're you're set up and running the moment this Christmas period is over and you're going to steam straight ahead. Um, the Six of Cups is also about sort of realising in the past uh, what is what was good for you and what was not good for you. Um, and uh, I think this ties a little bit back into this work ethic as well of making sure that there is enough sort of... Um, work play balance within your life okay let's just see what the overall outcome is and how it's all connected together it's raising cups it's it's social it's the three of cups it's enjoying the people that are around you it's enjoying your success enjoying your hard work of the year basically um king of swords the clarity of thought i think this is gonna this break, I think, is I think is a well needed break uh, for everybody, um, even your good selves. Although you might want to really get back to work and doing, getting things on, getting plans moving on, I think this is a good time for you to stop, to seize the moment, uh, to see what's going on around you, um, and as you do do that, you're going to be going forward and you into the new year with a much clearer vision on how you've judged situations uh, and will be applying them in the new year, okay? So there is a bit of a break going on over the Christmas period. A little bit difficult uh, for everybody, um, but for yourselves, I think it's a case of stepping back, seeing things clearly, getting all your dominoes in a line, uh, your ducks in a row, as it were, crossing the T's and dotting the I's and that sort of thing. So you can really start moving on in the going future uh, after the new year. 
Let's just connect with that energy line. Let's just see if there's a, um, a message for you, Sagittarius, coming from the Earth's energies. So there we go. We got the connection with the uh, energy line there. Just let it flow through. There it's going right through. So do you have a message for our good Sagittarians? Don't allow your passion to boil over. Use it as a force for going forward. So I think it's encouraging you to engage into your passions in life. Don't get distracted about it all. You've got the seven of cups followed by the six of cups. It's a very progressional thing. Your guides are working well together with you uh, on your financial sort of front. On your relationship front, here is, I think, here is... Um, uh, you know, it's uh, this is where the energies re or the Earth's energies um, really trying to encourage you to enjoy life, uh, to not worry about things uh, and that sort of thing. Uh, it's uh, very encouraging uh, for you, you know, for your passion for life uh, going forward. Um, and don't let it spill over within your relationships. Basically, I'd let I'd take a take a week off in a way. In regards to that, don't push anything too hard. In the meantime, uh, Sagittarius, thank you very much for being here with us. We're doing so much behind the scenes here at the Astro Flower, trying to get these Astro Flower readings to another level. And in the new year, we're going to be doing new readings that I think is going to blow your mind. It's certainly going to blow my mind. Well, it's blowing my mind at the moment. I'm, I've been practicing them. Um, doing weekly readings uh, with this new type of reading, um, which involves a lot more of energy work and that sort of thing. It's going to be brilliant. Uh, so you're going to really want to subscribe, click that bell, uh, so you're you getting the notifications of all the new videos coming out. And there's loads of things coming out this uh, Christmas period. You've got your solstice reading. You've also got your yearly readings, and you've got the uh, monthly January readings as well that are coming out. In the meantime, Sagittarius, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.